this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the world is cheering because Obama has solved everything. And oh, wait a minute, that's why the markets are roaring. Does that have anything to do with the rose parade yesterday coming off? Oh, yes, to a record temperature day. And just like roses in the sun, it is shrinking, but that has nothing to do with the economy. But Obama will tell you, and the markets will show. That the economy is roaring. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. You also advocated, uh, okay, here's a good one. We start off with that. Uh, we have a well known sportscaster that is advocating that we really do have a czar that is a czar to look into sporting events. He said, when you see people scoring 70, 80 points each in a football game, you what? know something is phony. When you see a football player going for a record uh, in the last few seconds of a football game when he's got another game to play and uh, he, he's running up to score deliberately, you know that they're basically doing it because there's the points that they're wanting to do. Point spread. Point spread. He said, uh, he said, we need a criminal, we need somebody in the end, somebody that can be appointed that basically has no, um, no, basically he's totally independent and can do criminal investigations in the sports on federal and state and local levels. And he said well, if that happened, you'd all of a sudden see um, games where pitchers were uh, winning two to one. You'd see games where football player for football teams were winning like 14 to 12. Basketball games were 60 to 70. You'd see boxing matches where the people boxed. And uh, you'd see a lot of gamblers in this country pissed off about it. So mm -hmm. he, he was just mad at yesterday's. I mean, it, I mean, he was really mad. So. And Perry, abortion allowed a woman's life at risk. Uh, well, yeah, but the problem is, is that on the Christian right, the woman's life is secondary to the delivery of the baby. You have to remember why Repub why. Right-wing Republicans don't get right-wing Republican women to vote for right-wing Republicans is because they'll always vote against a male that has beliefs that women basically have one purpose and one purpose only. Oh, really? Yeah. And abortion, immigration changes among the new 2012 laws. Oh, yeah. They basically, uh, uh, they basically, they're uh, everything that will piss off Obama. They made, they made, you know, really simple thing. Well. You know, if you're 10 years old, your parents should be notified you're having an abortion. Well, the, the Obama administration doesn't like that law. You know, if you're in this country illegally, you shouldn't be getting a job over a person that's here illegally. Obama doesn't like that job. And, Are you uh, serious? Oh, yeah. He doesn't like those laws. And, you know, well, you know, the basically forcing people to have identification to vote is nothing more than a Jim Crow law. Even if they give everybody in the state the identification free. And it doesn't cost anybody oh. any money. Because what it means is, uh, okay, my, my family, a lot of my family is from Cicero, Illinois, Illinois. And you have to go look at a movie called The Great McGinney, where um, uh, you have the actor, you know, Brian Donlevy, playing a guy that got the interest of the Chicago uh, people, you know, like it would have been like the Daly family in those days. He went and voted like 50 or 60 times one night. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't check, who you are. How do they know? How do they know? I mean, Chicago is famous for people that basically uh, uh, in a graveyard voting. And this is what it's meant to stop. It's meant to stop Obama. Okay, it is meant to stop a year and a half election. Do you realize that if those laws had not been passed in 37 states, a lot of them Democrats, the election would have started six months ago voting for Obama. Mm -hmm. And since there have been no Republican candidate yet, He's got a six-month lead on people that aren't registered legally in this country to vote, voting for Obama. Uh, Great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And Italy seeks a big euro fund after tough debt sell. Well, the, the problem is, is that the euro, they, everybody with half a brain, except for the people on our country, have said the euro is on its way out because it just isn't working because you've got all these um, in, in, individual fiefdoms that basically want their own money back again. Well, if you're printing your own money and you've got a debt, you just do like Obama does. You just print more you money. You just print more money. But if you're using the euro, the you euro can't has just to print, print more, money. more money. Yeah. Yep. And then because the euro prints more money, then everybody else is... The countries yep. that have, the countries that are doing well are then 
getting doubly hit by the countries that aren't doing well. And could Romney score an early knockout? Not likely, assuming that Ron Paul is going to easily win today. Mm. Well, because they, they... Oh, that's right. It's already here. Yeah, and, and basically the caucuses are going on as of this moment. They start counting the thing to 6 o'clock. They said that... Um, here's the trick is, nobody wants Romney, and they figure that they're going to show that nobody wants Romney by giving the, the thing to Ron Paul. They said if Ron Paul wins, one of the people in Iowa, uh, Iowa says it's going to make Iowa irrelevant. And two, it's going to bury Romney. Because it means the people he has to have to support him for the nomination are not going to be there. He, if he can only get 25% of the vote, that is not going to get you the nomination because it is not a winner-take-all in the Republican Party. It is based upon the percentage of the votes. Oh. Which is why I heard last night, I, I heard one of the people giving a lecture to um, Bill O'Reilly, who really doesn't like being lectured. He said there's no reason for anybody to drop out on the Republican side because the votes are the, the, the giving proportionally. If you get, say you come in, you only get 5% of the vote in everything. Somebody else gets 5%, somebody gets 19%, somebody gets 20%. You have to have like 51% to get the nomination. So until somebody gets 51%. It's an open election, no matter how much the press wants. Then, okay, we'll put it this way. Romney is the man that, that Barack Obama fears the most. He's the one that has the best chance of election. Okay, when the press is saying that on the left, and the Obama people are saying it on the left, it means they're not scared at all of Romney. That's right. And North Korea vows no change despite new leadership. That's the reason why they put the leader. I, I love that. Well, we can deal with this man. That's what the Obama people have said. He's Western educated. He's college educated. He speaks multiple languages. And even though he's a, he's a jet setter, he still can be dealt with. But he's not running anything. The military is, just like the military did before. Mm -hmm. They just have to have a leader. That's the whole trick. And Republicans battle over undecided voters in Iowa. 41% of the voters haven't made up their mind. As That's, of the, really? That's as a of lie. The, as of the polling data this morning when they started going in, that because you know, okay, here it is, they have caucus tents. People go to the tents to cast their votes. And um, and basically, if you're going into a Ron Paul tent, they got a real good idea. You're probably going to vote for Ron Paul. Oh, yeah. So they could sit outside. I mean, I was listening last night. To one of the people. Are you serious? They really oh, do it like that? Yeah. It's not just you go into one area and vote for whomever. Uh, yeah, um, and I was listening to one of the reporters. Oh, she's basically making fun that they they really treated her well this year. We had we had uh, tap water and we had uh, little swizzle thing, little liquory swizzle things. That was what we were getting. And he said that uh, said I was outside to see. Uh, there's one for Paul. There's one for Genrich. Oh, there's two more for Paul. She said. And then she said, I got in trouble when she yelled over to her boss, hey, I think Paul's going to win this thing. Are you serious? And they said, that I, they said I, was, I was, they told her I was making a mockery of the caucuses because you count the people going in. Well, it is likely that if you're going into a Ron Paul polling place, it is not, it is caucuses. You go into tents, you go into things to say Paul, Johnson, all these things. Well, that's kind of easy to count. It's very easy. They got a good idea who's going to be the winner by how many people go into the tents. And for Rand, the cost of closing the street may outweigh the gain. Uh, no, because they're Muslim extremists. They don't, it's just like, a, a, okay, you think the idiots that one of not, the one that are pushing Ron Paul care in the slightest about the fact that Ron Paul can't win? The same with the Muslim extremists. They know they can't win, but there's more of them, so eventually they figure the United States will just surrender to them. And two Navy pilots among those killed in California murder suicide. I know. I mean, uh, okay. I, 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 I don't know, understand why. I mean, I find it highly illogical, my father would if he was still alive, that a guy walks into a place, he kills six people without anybody knowing he kills six people, then because of fear he's going to get caught, uh, which nobody knew about for a week, that he kills himself also. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not smart. Something's not right. That's and first right. meteor shower of 2012 to dazzle early Wednesday. <laughs> Only if there's no clouds. That's we've tonight. Got, we've got, no, no, that's tomorrow night. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow morning, isn't it? Or tomorrow night? I have no idea. Today's Tuesday. Oh, wait. Today's Tuesday, so it would be tonight, which would be early Wednesday. Yeah, and unfortunately we have fog at night at the moment. Oh.
Yeah. Which means you won't get to see it. Yep. And a Monty Bubble is in for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Just accept things as they are. <laughs>